I feel like Hello. every board. Uh, Hello. Yeah, they, right. they, totally, they got butt hey, cheek spreaders on Amazon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On, the, on, the, on the bidet? I hope so. Yeah. Over 900 different oh items. God. See, I wasn't, I, I, I didn't, I didn't tell chat we were talking about bidets, but I guess oh. I, I will now. Yeah, we were, we were having yep. a bidet conversation before, uh, before I'd mute Do you want to tell chat what you told us? Uh, that, that, what, which, which part? Do you, the, 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 oh, oh, which part? You know which part. The you cheek know exactly. spreader. I don't know which part. Yes, the cheek spreader. Uh, there's gotta be a model that has a cheek spreader is all I'm saying. Oh. That you, that you <laughs> calibrate, you know? So I Brett said calibrate. that he wants a bidet that will spread his butt cheeks. Yeah. That literally was said, okay? That's, that's the, the only uh, bidet that he will install. I didn't install. say that's the only one. I'm okay, just saying well, I'd, be, that's, oh, I'd be open okay. to it. Let me exaggerate a little bit, all right? Yeah, you would okay. be open to it. Oh, okay, to it. <laughs> just as long as we're clear, you're exaggerating right now. Oh, Go mm. for it. I don't even need to exaggerate. You are the one who needs the butt cheek Don't spreader, point okay? Don't finger at me like I'm putting words in your mouth. These are I'm just using your words right now. I'm just saying if you want a deep clean, you, there's probably needs to be something that, you know, spreads the cheeks yeah. a little bit. What's wrong with that? Everyone, uh, huh? What? S cheek spreaders, what? What's the, what's the problem? Okay, but I, Brett, do you have a squatty potty? Uh, I now that you now I'm mad now because I um, you don't no what kind of up. amateur hold hour the is fuck this? Up. Listen, I mm. ordered one. I thought uh. it hasn't arrived yet. Mm. When did you okay. order it? I, Look, I'm, I'm telling you, 1998. Brett, yeah. when you or what? when when your squatty potty arrives, when you use it, it kind of does a little bit of spreading, like just naturally <laughs> by way of the pose oh, that you're in. See, so I'm, it's kind of covered. I'm, I'm kind of ignorant on that fact. Okay, so yeah, you don't actually. Yeah. Need you're a, lacking uh, critical information. You I don't need a spreader. Okay. Uh. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm no my, prob. I got you, homie. Consider myself educated. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Now I I'm pretty sure I heard one at the beginning of January for the, you know, the thoroughness of it all. But I, yeah. uh, you know, I am getting older. <laughs> Hemorrhoids are a real thing, and I I don't want I don't yep. want them. So yeah, absolutely. But that's why yep. it's like yeah, that like a a, me a medically approved cheek spreader is what I'm talking about. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. want, not, not not amateur hour. And for the people who are like, "Ooh, a finger too? No, I don't want. Well, how? What will that do for me? It does nothing. <laughs> finger too? It's not gonna do oh, anything. He, he's He's, just, he's trying to get his butt cleaner, okay? I'm trying to get myself clean. You know how many germs clean. you have in your hands? Exactly. The fact that we, as a nation in the United States, use this toilet paper is so fucking barbaric. We should all have bidets. It's true. With butt cheek spreaders. I mean that. I, I absolutely mean that. Come on. Yes. Yes. Squatty potty and a, and yes. a handle. Yeah. <laughs> so you can, oh, I can't, I can't hang on for dear life. I can't, I can't use candles. I can't use candles. I, I came in, Gabe, listen, I'm telling you right now. For the tough times. Everyone's giving me a hard time because I said I want a bidet with a cheek spreader. I don't understand what the deal is. I thought we were fucking adults here. We all want the, don't Brett stop me. We all want a clean hole, okay? I'm just saying. Huh? That's one thing we can all agree on as a nation, left or right, we want it clean! Alright, anyways, let's get started. There's nothing worse than a dirty butt. <laughs> That's all I'm saying! Everyone's like, ew, gross, you all shit, get uh. off my back, okay? <laughs> Don't even get into me, Jesus Christ. We all shit with no one holding our cheeks spread. You all shit, like, you all fart as bodily infections, get over it. Fucking barbarians over here. <laughs> Fucking get over it, come on. <laughs> We've been off for a couple of weeks right now. I've had, I've had time to think about this. <laughs> Clearly. I have my coffee point the, the, the older you get, you gotta deal with hemorrhoids. <laughs> Holy shit! You gotta deal with all that shit. We, you, you know, you, you, you need to, you need to, you need to treat yourself yeah. right. You need to treat yourself right. Thank you very much. All right, uh, Thanks let's for go. Coming to my TED talk. Thank you for coming to my I'm TED talk. Up. Which one's the TED talk that no one really fucking cares about? You know, there's the TED talk and there's like the TED talk turbo or something like. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. Uh -uh. Yeah. yeah I, I do know what you're talking like about. Like TED talk I X do. or something. TEDx. Yes. Yes. TEDx. 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 Yeah. Yeah. TEDx. This is, yeah. This is definitely yep. a TEDx talk. <laughs> they hated Jesus because he spoke the truth. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, 
fuck? Anyways, oh. let's go. Let's uh, go ahead and get started. Uh, uh, Naomi, would you uh, like to take it away for us, please? Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a minute. On the last episode, we began with Marius and Gareth taking apart the retrofitted cadaver collector. They got two whole bloodied spike, which contained a blood soup from all of its victims and a bunch more loots. There was, we, we enjoyed we, we, we some. We confirm the blood soup. That's something that that Zika was personally hoping for. There was blood soup. There we was rested soup. and enjoyed some tiny strawberry cake. We got some cadaver collector lore. It was old, like 1500 or even 2000 or even maybe older. The modifications done to it were done so that its necromantic powers would be suppressed from its original strength and capabilities. But so much time had passed that the mods had failed, and so we faced it and its cronies. Suddenly, just a few steps down this dank and dark hallway in this dungeon, we were transported into the Memorial of Exodus Academy. A beautiful snowy courtyard with trees and a big statue of an endosphinx. We were met with an Orbi monodrone guy who came to greet us, who hadn't seen guests for like at least a thousand or 792 years. He claimed to be a tour guide, one that Eldorus had been quite fond of, or not really, who came back from the astral or who came from the astral veil. Monodrone friend Guilty Spark is his name, led us to the library and gave us the <laughs> ability to look through all the books, except the ones in their forbidden section. Mm. Gareth found a book on a magic spell to learn how to see invisibility, and because he's a wizard, he wandered off to go study it. Cheats accidentally fell into the forbidden book room, accidentally picked up a forbidden book, accidentally <laughs> talked crazy. to some demonic voice so that asked crazy, her if she was dude. willing to die for knowledge, How and then decided to put that? the book back for the time <laughs> being. Time passed, Gareth learned his spell in four hours from this ten-page coloring book, and Marius <laughs> made the super epic upgraded stim for cheats that wouldn't give her lethargy or rad damage three some times a day. personal liberties with this recap. I just want to make sure that we're clear <laughs> Oh, what happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> After a nice nap, we left our library only to be faced with five large pawn like statues. The beginning of Guilty Sparks test. Now, what do you mean? The entire recap was absolutely 100% accurate. Okay? I write it as it happens. Uh, understood. I feel like it's a fever dream every time, and I, I love it. It's I love it. It's beautiful. Wow, it's beautiful. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> the, the monodrome. Uh, essentially goes, <laughs> oh, good, and then kind of like flies up here to like a ledge. Uh, I'm going to say about eh, 15 feet above the ground over there. Uh, so, yeah, you, 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 the last thing that left off, we just kind of see these sort of, uh, I'd say about four to five foot sized pieces that 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 look like chess pieces. They, they have the, uh, God, what's the word that I can use without people getting weird about it? Uh, the, the, the... Butt plugs. The shafts. The shaft of the, mm. the pawn. Ah, that word. Yeah, exactly. Great choice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Great choice. Good word. Uh, you, uh -huh. as, nice one. As you witness sort of these, these, like, statues, these sort of sculptures of the head of this uh, ancient wizard with these, these glasses on it, and they do appear to be shaped of that of a, uh, of a pawn piece. So... Without further ado, um, at, you kind of watch as they all stand up a little bit. Uh, you're going to see as he flies up over and he starts he starts clapping his hands a little bit and he points over at you all, which I will now roll initiative for. Hmm. How commonplace is chess? Uh, chess exists. What? Okay. Yes, ch chess existed. I, I leave it up to your characters if you are knowledgeable of the game or if you are not. But it does exist. It's not some sort of rarity. Is it? Is it like a different type of chess from no. like our rules of chess? Or no. oh, it's, it's, okay. yeah. So just uh, just just assume it as it, you would be playing a game of chess within this world, as you would be playing a game of chess uh, in our in our world. So. Okay. Oh, Vizik is a chess prodigy, grandmaster. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Is that yeah. is that is that true? All right. Yep. Oh, we're free oh. from saying anything. All right. <laughs> I I love I I love that for your character. Thanks. 
Uh, she wins by <clears> eating <throat> the pieces and threatening her oh, opponents. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. The shoe that's dropped. Uh, so, mm, so as everything <laughs> is kind of like getting set up a little bit, you'll kind of watch as he flaps uh, up a little bit. And he looks over. What's everyone's general like demeanor right now? Like, or, like what, what, what's what, what kind of expressions or emotions you guys are expressing as? This little monodrome is sort of like fly, flying up to the center of the room. Did these things rise up from the floor? Uh, yes, they kind of mater- materialize from the floor. Oh. Marius in this current instance is sort of pulling out the ignition hammer and his attention sort of drops to the floor for a moment, recognizing the checkered pattern <laughs> and then recognizing the pause and he goes, Hate wizards. <laughs> uh, seems you might have figured something out there, Fred. Not to worry, I'm only here to observe. I know there was some concern that I may uh, turn against you, and although I am uncertain if I will be able to do, if I will be doing that or not, I, I am merely here as uh, an observer. Uh, so uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, they're not going to move. Well, yet anyways uh so uh let me see here um and he kind of like rustles around like between like the grooves of his like uh, metal plates and gears and sort of pulls out this small like almost like this 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 pin like, like this printer tape that kind of has all this binary and he's kind of scrolling through it and he goes ah yes i i i am to uh give you all uh the space to uh, move around and prepare yourself as you need to. Uh, you there, uh, yeah, does, I'm trying to figure out if he knows if, did everyone introduce himself to this, uh, the monodrone, correct? I know it's been a couple of weeks. I think so. I believe once we named him Guilty Spark, everybody introduced themselves. Understood. Uh, you there, Gareth. Hmm? You will be the uh, the line, the border. Uh, the rest of you are free to move about as you can, but just do not move past Gareth. All right, let's see what you are all uh, capable of. <laughs> Gareth. I don't think is... I like wizards. Wait, are we still in the setup phase or is this where we're just going? Uh, so it is a combat initiative. He is he is uh, let okay. you guys know, um, you know, okay, okay. please don't uh, uh, Gareth, don't walk any further. And the rest of you make sure that you're, you're free to move around a bit, uh, but make sure that you are not beyond where Gareth is. Hmm. And he nods a bit. Do you, do you mean like forever or just like before we start? Oh, I mean, I mean, just 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 right now. I'll let you know when you can move around as normal. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I suppose I, uh, I'll, I'll move here. Oh, very good. Hmm. Interesting so strategy. Might come about if we you... actually are playing chess, where we're bound to the colored tiles that we're on, if we're not pawn pieces. Oh, I, oh. I, I appreciate your inquiry. You're uh, skipping ahead a little bit, he'll say, uh, pointing over at Marius. So you're familiar with the game? To a degree. Yeah. <laughs> well, this this is great. This will be wonderful. Well, I'll just stand. We're here to play games? You're here to be wizard. tested. Oh, yeah, I'll stand right here then. Oh, uh, uh, oh, 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 dear. I, uh, I, I do apologize. Uh, you're oh. off the board. You can't be off the board. Oh, okay. Ah, thank you so much. You make this a lot easier for me. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, well. You... <laughs> don't, don't, yeah. You can't move yet. It's not your turn. Oh. <laughs> you're welcome. God damn it, dude. Bloody please. You're killing me. You freaking crack me up. <laughs> can't move. Wait, I'm, actually, shit. I'm just gonna come over here, actually. Okay. All right, that's fine. I mean, maybe... Well, you know, I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll just stay here. Um, you, kind of, you kind of zoom around a little bit. That's pretty good. I mean, you know, it, it's what I do. Hmm. Sometimes. Uh, he pulls out a small pad of paper and starts writing stuff down in binary. Um, sometimes, but often, but more often than not. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm not mm-hmm. the fastest one, but I, mm-hmm. I do it a lot. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, mm-hmm. and only mm-hmm. when I feel like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you get all of it? I did. Good. Cheats. <laughs> Damn, when he writes, does it sound like one of those really, really old, like... Oh, absolutely. Uh, like printer he's, machines he's, that he's going on. Matrix <laughs> printer, baby. <laughs> 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 oh, I very like nice. 
cheats it is your round. So I'm like, she like leans over towards Marius. What the fuck do I do? I don't know if he's going to assign us pieces or if we're going to just have to assume that we're a piece in particular. Ooh, theory crafting. I love it. He claps his hands a little bit. Okay. I would almost say because of how fast you are, it might behoove you to be a bishop. What the fuck does a bishop do? Well, assigned to a color, black or white, you'll move diagonally. Oh. Okay. And only diagonally. Oh, shit. Pawns can only move forward, but they can only attack diagonally. They can't overtake another. So do we so, need to, like, choose a color? I believe so. Hmm. Marius knows the game of chess. Very good. Very good. Okay, so are we, are we doing, you know, which one? <clears throat> She's just poking at his armor. <laughs> you can see him trying to be like, if I was a pretentious wizard, how would I play this game? Because so far, there are only pawns. There is no, there are no bishops, no knights. There are, there's no king, no queen. So he's sort of looking at this like, what is, what is really gonna happen here? Okay. There are... That's black, white. White, black, white, black, white. Keith's eyes blink independently. Uh, the monotron's eye blinks slowly. <laughs> but you'll stay exactly where you are. You're going to be our bishop. Okay. You'll move diagonally along every white that you see. Marius okay. heads to Eerie Craft. Mm. All right. Do you want me to attack him or like what? Because I can fucking, I could go over there and I can fucking attack him, you know. I could kill, I could kill him. The issue is that I don't know what else is going to happen if you go over there. Even if you were to overtake one by following a diagonal pattern and overtaking, let's say, that one. What could be waiting for you is the queen. Do I get to be a queen? Wait, no, I'm oh, a bishop. Oh, I must warn you once again, please do not go beyond Gareth at this time. This is oh. sort of a prep phase. He does open hands up into the air. Mario sort of pauses for a moment and goes, how about you be our queen? Uh, Queens can go everywhere. Attack every piece. <gasps> you have a queen too? Ooh. You're all fastest. You can cover the most distance. This game sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a wizard. What do you expect? So, like, what do I do as queen? What does that mean? Attack every piece. Ah, oh, shit, I can do that. I can wear Just a crown. Just be mindful. There are some pieces that can take you. Nah, I'm a crown. I wear a queen. Just watch out for your angles. Okay. Stay where you are. You'll be fine. Hey, Gareth, I'm a queen. Oh, hello. What am I? What am I? Marius, what am I? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> <laughs> Does that make me a queen? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Eyeball. Gareth. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Can we all be queens? No. Why? <laughs> Why? That's not how the game works. <laughs> but you can have multiple queens. <laughs> not in this game. Why? Why? <laughs> you didn't get the rules. We do need pawns. We don't need what the we don't oh, even know what the rules oh, are. Oh, I see. I see. I'm not I going to Marius make you pawns. I'm going to be the pawn. But. Oh. What if, what if he's just going to say, well, now hit, <laughs> fight, you know? <laughs> <laughs> then I'll beat the shit out of Aldorus the next time I see him. <laughs> mm. That's very Zika, violent. You can be our bishop. 
Gareth, what does you that are do? knight. I what? You are Zika, horse. you move diagonally on all of the black squares that you're on. You can only ah. move diagonally and attack diagonally. Gareth, okay. you'll be our oh. knight. You can only move in L patterns. Oh, you guys fun. are playing a game too. That's fun. Lowercase or uppercase L? Upper. I don't move know. about I three and I don't then know why down I asked or that. up one. What what if he's three down up one. Three and one. Three and one. <laughs> oh, I I I am uh, to inform you that <clears throat> let's see here. Um Checkers is a baby's game. That's all it says. That's all the paper says. Oh. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Checkers is a game for babies. I'm just we're a baby. We're not, we're not playing checkers, though. That, that's right. I, I, Shouldn't I, we I, be I, all on the same I, color? I'm sorry. There's a there, there's a conditional here for me that states that if someone brings up the game checkers, I was supposed to respond in kind. Oh. Uh, Ain't we supposed to all be on the same color? No. That's, <laughs> you're designated to a color, and that's the color that you'll move on unless you're a pawn. Or the queen. Oh. Or certain other pieces. It's complicated. So I can just be anywhere. Yeah, I'll you... do that. Wait, is it, isn't a bishop the only piece that moves on one color? No. I, I don't I'll... fucking know. The Zika is the Zika a, a chess prodigy. How you doing, knight? I don't recommend. I, I don't know. How am I eating? Doing? Oh, if I'm you have uh, finished moving, be sure to hit end turn, cheats. Vanya. I'm sniffly. Uh, can I just stay we out of this are. game, or what? You need me? If you would like, <laughs> because you are a long-ranged combatant, you can be our king. I don't know if the rules will still be the same. I don't imagine that you'll have to get close, unless Eldorus is being annoying. Then... So, like, do kings just sit back and do nothing, pretty much? That sounds like something. Correct. Like... <sighs> but That's perfect. you are a long-range combatant, so you should be able to attack from the back. However, <clears throat> should you fall, we lose. I'll never fall, baby. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> um. So, uh, is is, is is here okay or what? That should be fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Next up, Marius. Oh, hello. He steps up. Pulls out his hammer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now All that right. the now that the preparation phase is uh, is done, now the battle can begin. Good luck, my friends. Oh, by the way, uh, these pieces are lethal and can potentially cause irreversible harm to you, uh, up to and including death. Okay. Oh. Well, we can do the same, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Gareth. Wait a, now wait a minute. Look, uh, how did I move? Like an L, you <laughs> said? Moving an L. Uh, but what if it doesn't apply? But this apply? is already wrong. They're the light pieces. They should be going first. Mm -hmm. Do I? Yeah. But I'm on a light square. No. Oh. These rules. They're the light colored. They're white. They should be going first in chess. Oh, oh, yes. Well, uh, that's actually a very good point. Usually in uh, <laughs> dated standard games of uh, chess, um, the white normally does go first. However, Aldoris, being a little bit cheeky, <laughs> usually handles it in, the, in the, the case of a coin toss. However, points his finger up again, since you are guests to our wonderful academy, you will always be going first. And then he just smiles. Hmm. Well, How nice. All right. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. That's one and two and three. Where did they come from? One more. Uh, one, uh. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here. What? Oh. <laughs> did I? Yeah. Did I break it? No, you're fine. And then one more down. Oh. There you are. All right. 
Now what? Do I? That's your turn. That's it? Oh. All right. At the end of Azika's turn, uh, one of the pieces moves forward. What? Hey. Wait, I move of... too. Azika, it's your turn. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Can I squeeze past him? Yeah! <laughs> this scurries between what? legs. Can I go again? No. No? Oh. She said she can move diagonally. She did. <laughs> but she could go like up a diagonal. <laughs> You've reached, you arrived at your point. Oh. She just stuck there then? She can't go back up? No. Hey, oh my God. Mr. Eyeball Man. Yeah. Am I allowed to keep moving? Oh yeah, absolutely. You're not limited by the moves of chess. I fucking hate hell doors. <laughs> 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 Swings at the head. Uh, that will hit. <laughs> and pushes him back one. Uh, give me one second. All right. Um, okay. The uh, hit point bar is not loading, but that's okay. Excellent. There it, it is. Awesome. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, how? Where would you like to push it? All right. Uh, that will hit for 13 points of damage. You're just denting wow. this piece like immediately. <laughs> 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 what? what are you doing? <laughs> uh, that hits. You punch it in the face. It just dematerializes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Woo! At the end of uh, Vizika's turn, one of the pieces will move. Sheets. So like, I can move wherever, right? Cause I'm a queen. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? I just fucking kill them. <laughs> what if like, what if like breaking these rules or whatever gets us in trouble? I don't need any more of that. I I mean, I don't then need that. Move here and take this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marius, having a midlife crisis. I'm just, it's just reaffirming that wizards are shit stains and will always be shit stains. <laughs> So I can only move once, so like, can I stop and move again? Move here. Don't move anymore, attack that one. We'll still be within the rules of the game. She just takes off. It's like this silent, just... And she attacks. Okay. Yes. Where's my weapon? There it is. Uh, that will hiss. Uh, let's see. You moved, uh, you have four charges. Would you like to spend them? Yes, I would also like to re-roll my damage to try to get better. Please do so. Uh. Ooh. Oh. Hell oh my, yeah, oh, I'll nice. take it. Very right. good. And four okay. points of damage from the kinetic energy you've built up. Sneak attack. <coughs> wow. Uh, that hits 15 points of damage. You're just watching as this thing almost looks like clay is just falling apart right there. Then, uh, as my bonus action, I will attack with my cheat code. Ah, very good. <laughs> You'll watch as the thing just melts into the ground, just sinking right into the square. All right, no one! It's your turn. I gotta stay here? Yes. Ah, fuck. <laughs> They're pawns. They can only move two squares. Vanya, uh, before your turn goes, uh, this one will move over here. Vanya. Hmm. 
Ha ha hum. Ha ha hum. You know what? You know what? What? You know what? You know what? Do you know what? You don't. I'm asking, what? I would like to cast a spell. Okay. <gasps> yes. And Very that good. spell Bish. is a third level spell called Wind Wall. Pog. Cast Pog, a spell. Indeed. I cast a spell? Yes, question? go go into your spell okay. book and uh I, no I did. The, the, there wasn't a question it's, 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 I did, but it didn't Oh, it's asking you to put it's an area, uh so you have to put down the area oh, of where you I are really? building the wind wall, correct? Oh my god, sick. Oh sick. Um wait. Alright, let's see. Uh okay, so you put it like way over here. Where where did you I'm where assuming I, I'm assuming that's oh, not where you wanted yeah. it, yes. The line where... No, 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 okay, yeah. I see it now. No. Yes. Like, vertically, please. Vertically, vertically it, in two. that square? Understood. I shall move it over now. Woo! Woo! Poggies. All right. Okay. Um, All right. So, uh, let's see here. We got to do a strength save versus DC. What is your DC, your, your spellcasting DC? Oh, man. Spellcasting DC? Yes, if you go to the spellbook tab, you will actually see spellcasting. Oh, it's 14. Ah, thank you very much. I must beat a 14. Failure. Yo. And mm. success. So, um, ba ba ba. When the wall appears, each creature within the area must make a strength saving throw. A creature takes 3d8 points of bludgeoning damage or fa fail save or have as much on a successful one. The strong wind keeps Ooh, hogs. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. All five of them there. <laughs> yeah, I wish. That would have been so cool. Yeah. All right, so. It's okay, but if more appear, though, that, True. that is my logic. True. Uh, 17 we're, not... we're going to do 17 points of damage to the uh, first pun. And then the other one succeeded, but that's okay. Uh, because we'll take half damage for that. So 16 becomes eight points of damage. <laughs> And that wind wall is concentration, so you're currently concentrating. The strong wind will keep fog, smoke, and other gases at bay. Small and smaller flying creatures or objects can't pass through the wall. Uh, loose, lightweight materials are brought into the wall, flying upwards. Arrows, bolts, and ordinary projectiles launched at targets behind the walls are deflected upwards, not completely miss. Oh, that's it. Oh, so it's just initial damage, and then the wall's there, and then that's it. Yeah. Weird. That's the first spell I've seen like that. Okay, you are currently concentrating on a spell. Oh, I'm all in. Okay, excellent. At the, nope, nope, get uh, the fuck back. <laughs> You're not done. All right, uh, so uh, at the end of your turn, Vanya, you'll watch as this, uh, this little guy sort of angles and turns over uh, to cheats and goes uh -huh. in for the you attack. You can't do that. You can't uh, just, attack diagonally. Just kind of, that's the pawn. <laughs> just kind of lifts up and that's then. Exactly the only way you can attack. attack. Oh my god. All <laughs> what? What's the that's the only way the pawn can them. attack is diagonally. Uh, does not break hey, your armor class. Marius. Hey, 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 don't get handsy. Move up two. Because <laughs> I'm a pawn on the front line and then I'm going to cast Shatter. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Well, how about you learn to play chess outdoors? <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, sorry, this is at disadvantage. Doesn't matter, Correct. I failed anyways. So that will be 90 points of thunder damage. This pawn will uh, shatter into a billion pieces, melting into the ground. Uh, and then this one will also take 19 points of damage. That's my turn. I can't move anymore. Excellent. At the end of your round, uh, this one will walk up over here. Uh, uh Gareth. <clears throat> Gareth's just been like tunnel visioned on the ground, like looking at his feet, like, oh, all right, one. <laughs> I think it was three last time. And that's it. Wait, how did you get up here? What? She's a queen. She can move omnidirectional. Yeah, but if I you want, said we're not bound by the movement you, of it. Yeah, you can just do whatever you want because what? Aldoris doesn't actually know how to play chess, apparently. All right, whatever. I'm hitting this thing. No swing. 
G. That's a critical miss. Okay. Uh, do we, is there any downside to a critical miss? Uh, you no. automatically miss. Yeah. Well, besides that. Okay. All right. Uh, I swing again. <laughs> Uh, that'll hit 15 points of damage uh, melts into the ground oh, This is a bit more fun <laughs> Let's see how much uh, 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 And I'll move here Okay And At the end of your round Sheets huh. uh, This thing uh, Attacks you again That hits Uh oh 14 points as you feel this this seismic force sort of just hit back at you. 14 points of force damage. And there's this like over like all the prosthetics of her body where they like sputter out and then recalibrate. The <laughs> <laughs> Zika. All right, all right, so I'm gonna follow the rules of moving all the diagonals now. So it's only attacking on diagonals. How convenient. Okay, you ready to die? <laughs> the chest piece does not <laughs> respond to you. What a question <laughs> to ask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that hits 10 points of damage. And I'm going to use a key point to flurry of blows this bastard. Kick, kick, punch. Kick, kick, pounce. Uh, nine points of damage. Yes. Oh, job well done. You got, you got another attack. Yeah, is there two on on arms? Right? Yeah, it's flurry blows. You got, you got another attack. Wait, uh, sorry, what? What? You got flurry oh. blows. You do two oh. attacks. That's oh, why. Okay. That's why you flurry. Right. Uh, right. Seven, seven <laughs> points of damage. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> the beast melts into the ground, ending Whoa. the encounter. Is that it? So that was chess? Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, you'll watch as he flies down over. But it was important to know your combat capabilities as well as of, of a hint of what's to come. <laughs> you okay, Cheats? That sounded like it hurt. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> the wind wall like is still blowing over here. <laughs> Wait, wait, if I go into it, will I take damage? <laughs> no, that's that's the weird thing about it. That you don't. The the damage is only for when you um, when the spell is first created. Only, My hair looks really cool. The damage is only at the very start. Correct. Otherwise, Zeke is gonna go into the wind wall. Uh, you are a small creature. Yes. Yes. Uh, you start. Oh my uh, god. Uh, oh, you can't pass through the wall. The wall literally is so strong, it pushes you back. Ooh, she's gonna hunch down to the floor, like press her nose into the floor and try to like squeeze into it so she could get like slid down the hall, basically through it. The wind is so strong, it just keeps. Ah, it just keeps ah, pushing you back. That's kind of fun. She's gonna run on it and do a flip into it. And it bounce, yeah, it immediately just bounces you back. Oh. <laughs> Let me try. Oh, <laughs> it bounces back. Oh, you walk through just fine. Oh. oh. She looks up at <laughs> Marius from the ground. Well done, everyone. <laughs> just staring down at her. <laughs> There's a moment where he turns, grabbing at the sort of... Uh, the offered vial that projects itself out from his chest. He grabs it and then turns to Cheats. Turn to look at me. Yeah. And the moment she does, he sort of stab it into that uh, plating around her neck near a port. Uh. <laughs> uh. Thanks. Hey, 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 Sparky Plug. Hey, go, go through that wall over there. Hmm. Uh, okay. Walks through wall. Shit. <laughs> I mean, good job. He's larger that was a test for you. Wad waddles away. Oh, did I pass? Barely. <laughs> oh. Well. That's still a yes! I suppose I should be thankful. Oh, so you are familiar with the game of chess. Looks up at Marius. Yes. 
Oh, very good. I don't have to explain the rules then. <laughs> and you seem to be very capable of combat as well. This will assist you in the future. If you wish to have an audience with Aldorus Thalarian. Are we off to see him then? Oh, uh, not yet. We are off to the next destination. Come, come. I believe it was the cafeteria we were heading to. Yeah! Oh, oh, that is true. I could go for a drink. Oh, let me go ahead and unlock this door. Are you hungry? I'm oh, starving. yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I, uh, I do want to apologize to you all as well. Hmm? Hmm? Turns the around. The effort, well, not you, Guilty Spark, you were but a spectator. Uh, to my companions, I attempted to propose to know more than I did, and it was but fruitless, so apologies. Well, he did say that the knowledge would come in handy later, so maybe there's going to be more of the kinds of pieces in, like, a more real game, like what you're talking about later. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Don't feel bad for yourself. Oh. I mean, they are chess pieces, after all. Probably be important to know what they can do. <laughs> I promise next time I'll go only on a diagonal. And only... Well, I mean, I guess it depends on... I don't know. If it's only, like, one step, that's going to be kind of really lame. But... You like being the bishop? I don't know. We could try changing up pieces next time. Think about it. Ah, uh, she tries to catch a snowflake. I'm staying the king. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so be it, your majesty. Very good. Oh, all very good. All right. Now, if you follow me this way, I will be happy to escort you to the cafeteria. <laughs> One of Aldoris's favorite locations, beside the library, of course. Hey, hey, are you sure you're okay? He's about to show us the cafeteria and we're gonna go get really delicious food. Are you, are you, are you okay? Is everything okay? Yeah, can, yeah, I'm fine. You can be the queen, you can be the queen next time too. <laughs> just roaming around, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me go ahead and unlock this hallway. <laughs> All right, this way. She's just oh, like, no. like holding like Marius. both hands over her like metal like ears, rubbing at them. <laughs> do, 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 you don't have to count do. these ones. Ah, and welcome to the mess hall, also known as the cafeteria. This is a place that Aldoris enjoyed to visit as well as study. Something hmm. nice. Decadent and simple to give you all the nutritional needs that any young wizard would require to cast such powerful spells. Let me go ahead and see I was what almost expecting a little bit more opulence. Oh, well, this is something to be very simple. Are these grills on every table or is this lights above the table oh they're they're they're, they're like little uh candelabras that you can okay. light on the table i was like kbbq <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, yes. i wish maybe i was wrong oh, about old doris maybe I... he's based <laughs> <laughs> pulls out a small sheet oh, uh featuring some binary all right oh uh let's go ahead and see what we have on the menu today <laughs> mm. Aldoris loved studying the menu for the cafeteria. Today's entrees include a grilled chicken salad with or without the chicken with some fresh Brisbane dressing. Mmm, yummy. What's that? What's Brisbane dressing? Oh, it is a dressing that originates over in Brisbane. I believe it's something oil-based. Okay. Uh, next, we have a spaghetti bolognese topped with a hearty Ooh. meat sauce. Made of ground mm. beef raised from the Ishtarian Heights. Oh. Mm. Nothing mm. but the best for the students of the Exodus Academy. And then, and then finally, a glazed salmon. A tasty dish once had at Kreshart. Sweet mm. with a bit of tang. Served with a side of a tropin rice. A fish. God, I love me some tang. A fish. <laughs> Ah. All right, then. Now that we visited here, shall I take you guys over to the dorms? <laughs> it, wait, wait! Wait! Go do that! 
Where's the spaghetti? Hmm? Yeah. Where's the fish? Oh, we haven't actually made any of that. You weren't expected. We can wait. What? Uh, is there what? like a button I can push to make oh, the food happen? Yeah, I can go ahead and check. Let me see. Our food supply is at zero percent. Oh my god. Not surprising, but is it materials that you need? Hmm? Well, yeah, I suppose. Do you have some sort of poultry? Maybe beef raised from a Shatarian Heights? Or the tangy salmon from Kreshek? One moment. So no tang? Oh, There's the, a... the glazed salmon has plenty of tang. If but we no had it, that was... no salmon around, is there? No, I guess not. There's a hum that begins to sort of process through Marius's helmet. It's a mechanical noise. Uh, the lights sort of flicker momentarily, and he goes, Well, it's a bit rudimentary, but I think I could make supplies to make food. Oh, oh wonderful. Take your time. We have all the tools you need to cook whatever you want. Hmm. Hmm. Sits down. It would require a soft reboot of my uh, my OS. So, if you're willing to wait eight hours, <laughs> oh, I can wait for as long as you need to. Kicks legs. Cheats, what are you doing? Hey. Looks over at Cheats, hiding in the corner. She's like poking at the walls, trying to find secret doors. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and give me a uh, a uh, investigation. No, give me a perception check. I was going to say search check. That's not 5A. As you kind of like feel around the walls, uh, you you feel the coolness of the wood, the wood that's been uh, affected by the wintry environment. Yet you do not seem to detect anything hidden. Okay. <laughs> she seems convinced. You say eight hours. I mean, we did I have do a, a lot on the way here, I guess. I have a, a program within my operating system that using my armor, I can replicate foodstuffs, generally food and water. With my tool as well, I can turn it into some form of mechanical cooking supplies, of which, given my knowledge, I can become an innate expert of, and thus create us food. I mean, In eight, eight hours, right? It would require me to change my, uh, my current available programming. If not, I'm more than welcome to just move along. It is eight hours after all. I feel like I would get hungry again after waiting that long. I'm very hungry now. Uh, I'll be fine with rations for the time being, I think. Understood. But, but he, but he, remember he can make rations taste like anything, so he can make rations taste like Oh, you salmon. said you, that is correct. You said you wanted bolognese, right? Yeah, yes. Could I have oh. spaghetti rations? <laughs> Your bread <laughs> will taste like it and have a smell of it. It won't possess the same texture, but I have had bolognese before. Mm, can I have pescetti? fish. Depending on the type of fish, I, I haven't had much. But give me your rations. Here. There you go. Taking Gareth's ration and sort of uh, craning his prosthetic, that gem in the center of his palm will glow, and then he's going to cast Presti over uh, Gareth's ration to make his ration taste like spaghetti bolognese. (laughs) 
And so it is done. Mm. Hmm. Well. You're right, it does have a strange mouthfeel, but it tastes good. Is the mouthfeel rations? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Although, I don't know how to put my my finger on it, but it's slightly different. It just it tastes very good, though. Is it from the Presti spell that changed the spe- uh, the taste and the smell? It is from that. Thank you. Hmm. Happy to help. The last time I had bolognese, it wasn't the best. They were a bit light-handed with the uh, with some of their seasoning. So sadly, I can only really replicate previous experiences. Is your ration light-handed with the seasoning? Uh, uh, I, this is my first time having spaghetti bolognese. Oh, Wait, it's was it color. lukewarm? Was it warmed it, up? It's not it's warmed, warmed up. up. When it is? Mm-hmm. It, I can also adjust the temperature of your food. Oh. That, yes, then. Yes. <laughs> okay, what was the third thing on the menu that you said? Oh, yes. The third thing on the menu is a glazed salmon. A tasty dish once had at Creshart. Sweet with a bit of tang. Served with a side of a tropin rice. Stop talking about the tang. You, you want to get tang, right? Let's go get our rations turned into the tang. <laughs> okay. I've I never think- had glazed salmon before. Um, I've only ever had fried fish, and usually it's tilapia. Mm, well, we had the barbecue that time. Can uh, you imagine fish, but like it's bar- it's that barbecue and those sauces? It's it sadly can only be a thing that I've experienced myself. Okay. Can Otherwise, you... it would be a shot in the dark, really. Can you then make it taste exactly like? The barbecue we had. Two of okay. them. Two of them. Very warm. <laughs> They're gonna last it's going to last for about an hour. Well, I'm gonna give the other one out look at how sad she is. Very well, very well. Uh then he would. He would make it taste like the uh the barbecue we got from that goblin spot. Excellent. She's gonna Oh, how exciting. She's gonna wave one under Vanya's nose. Vanya is kind of humped over this table, kind of like almost sleeping on this table. So she's just going to take it, just kind of... She's so grouchy, like very upset. Okay. But she's going to take it. <laughs> Maybe after we're done here, Thank we, you. Can, we can get him to make the fish. The eight-hour thing. I, I would like to try it, too. We can come back here, right, right Mr. Spark? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Okay. Maybe I'll perish after the end of this tour. I have no idea. Wait, oh have you God. ever given a tour before? Nope. You're the first. But would you know that? Or maybe your memories were wiped? Oh, that could be... Uh, that could absolutely be a thing. Okay. <laughs> You're splashing all over me. He's going to turn to cheats and sort of see what she's, uh, if she's holding out any rations. Uh, you have a food really in mind? I'm hungry. Or? You don't think you're hungry? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hand it I, over. I and think she's hungry. Like? I heard that from here. <laughs> Very astute. Fine. She'll pull out a, a ration. Well, what are you looking for? Uh, oh, you know that, uh, you know that, like, stool stuff? You used to make it in the shop all the time. That. There's a, a moment where he sort of pauses. <laughs> he goes, sort of quiets his voice. You want that? Yeah. We've been away from fucking home for so long. Just a piece of it. That's all. Okay. I definitely think I can make it better now. 
Yeah, he threw your mom in the wizard shit. <laughs> no, I mean, he sort of taps the side of his head. I think I know how to cook better now. Oh. No, I want it the way you made it then. It's a very slow nod. And then he'll, uh, he'll make it taste like a, uh, a very, very hearty beef stew. Oh, hell yeah. She, like, scoots and sits on the table. And, like, the bottom part of her mask goes, she just, like, starts eating it underneath the mask. Oh, this is nice. I think he'll, uh, sort of was <laughs> was about to make himself some bolognese as well, but then, uh, having heard Cheats' request, he's gonna make his taste like, uh, taste like that as well, and then, uh, go about eating it, pulling back his helmet. Oh. What's this stew that you're making? Well... Back in Auckland, uh, I, I generally bought a lot of simple groceries, so I didn't have to leave my workshop while working. So this was the easiest thing to make. You'd leave it in a pot and generally not have to worry about it. It's a nothing amazing. It's the cheapest meat that you could buy in Auckland. Hmm. Oh, don't sell yourself short. It's good. Usually, for my calculations, there's something to say uh, much more than the quality of the ingredient that you use. Even the finest of beef roasts can be made with a simple chuck. It's the memories that you associate with the meals that are so fond. Hmm. Yeah, what he said. She, like, lifts up the ration. There's a very, like, perhaps not even realizing that he's doing it, a smile on his face as he's taking a bite. I, I find that food is very important to humanoids, not only as a source of nutrition, but as a hmm, source of... Someone described it as 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 warmth, almost as Am if I there's a humanoid. Is as though there's an emotional component. Yeah, I would consider you humanoid. Cool. Such a low bar. <laughs> 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 you barely pass. <laughs> Am I real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitchin'. Well, whenever you're ready to continue on, let me know. Otherwise, feel free to enjoy the facilities, or at least what we're able to offer. Are you okay, Vanya? Which is nothing. Vanya, do you want another cake? Yes. Okay, I have a few flavors. I have lemon. Yeah. With poppy seeds. Oh my god. I, li I like that. Sounds tangy. That like oven. That. <laughs> the fucking okay. oven. Okay, so you want that? You, want, you don't want me to read the other ones? Uh, can, can I have one of each? Well, that would be like almost all of them. So, I mean, in time, yes, but right now I can only make okay. one, otherwise, it'll take a long time. All right, just surprise me. <laughs> can I? Yeah, okay, I'll just give you the lemon one. Okay. Can I make an item? with magical tinkering to improve her easy pick oven. You mean my tiny Damn. Tim oven? Your tiny Tim, it's the same. Don't fucking, you know what? You get nothing. You get nothing. <laughs> uh, to answer your question, uh, yes. If you did want to do that. I would like to do that. Okay. What exactly, what kind of improvements are you looking to make to it? I would like to, I would like to, how long does it take for you to make a cake? With, 
it, not very long with this because they're usually really tiny. They're like super flat little like disc. It's kind of like a petri dish, but in it is a tiny cake. How mm. long does it take? <laughs> fifteen <laughs> minutes. Wait, preheat for fifteen? Well, really? I have no idea how the fuck those little light bulbs are baking cakes. I mean, I, I don't know. Some light bulbs get hot as fuck. I guess so. Fifteen to twenty minutes in total. It should Let's be. improve the efficiency of this. Uh, make it instant, please. <laughs> tiny. I don't know if I can make it instant. Uh, microwave, at least. Can we get to that tech? <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely improve efficiency of the Tiny Tim oven to probably reduce <laughs> cook time by like half. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, go for it. I would allow it. No. So we'll spend a charge of magical tinkering. And if you want me to make a roll, I'll gladly make a roll. I, I don't think any roll is required for this one. You would use your innate abilities as a, a tinkerer to uh, kind of put your flair into this uh, to, into this toy. There's a, a moment where it, as she's talking about it, here's like, can I, can I actually see your tiny oven? Yes. You can see it. <laughs> Does she have like this <laughs> troll face on? <laughs> I would like to make uh, oh, an attempt, rather, uh, to improve upon it, if possible. Takes out the oven. If you're okay with that, that is. It is your property, after all. Yeah. He well. squints. But you better not break it. If I break it, I'll make you a better one. Okay. Deal. Kneeling down, he would, uh, pulling out his multi-tool, begin sort of undoing the screws, <laughs> uh, sort of pulling off the various panels until he can get to that little bulb that, uh, that works, that does the majority of the work. Mm -hmm. Um, and he is going to undo it and then take it with his uh, sort of magical tinkering and sort of press it into his palm uh, within his prosthetic. And it sort of, it, it almost like reshapes until it mirrors the like multifaceted gem that uh, is in his palm. Uh, and then he's going to reinstall it. Mm. And then eventually put it all back together. <laughs> So, this thing is mostly a child's toy, but yeah. that should at least make it easier for you to cook for your friend. Uh, in what way? Well, it took you about 20 minutes last time. It should take you 10 now. Ah! Uh, she does a flip. Slowly. <laughs> More cakes per hour. That? Ah, really great. You've improved the Thank CPH. You. Wonderful. <laughs> Would you like a little piece of this lemon poppy cake? No, I know that Vanya wanted it, so. Okay, thank you! She slams it down, rips open the packets, mixes it with the water, and puts it in there. Bing. As you put it in there, you just kind of watch as it gives like this greenish glow and go. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, it's all right. It's going. Hold on one second. I, I gotta, I gotta do this. It kind of does this sort of. <laughs> oh. Goodness. Vanya is now blind. <laughs> Cheech is just eating like spoon, like spooning out her ration, eyes wide as fuck, and she's just watching, <laughs> grinning. <laughs> she carefully claws the plate out and slides it over. Here you go. New and improved. What, what is it? I can't see. What it's is it? It's your cake. Oh, feed it to me. I can't. I can't. 
She okay. opens her mouth. Just she she uses her claws, and that makes the cake kind of like crumble a little bit. So she just like very quickly just keeps moving small pieces into Vanya's mouth. <laughs> 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 I love that for you. Oh, I love that for you. So, so was that is that green bulb actually just a better bulb, or or is it radioactive or something? Am I gonna grow a limb here? What what is? I try. <laughs> just get an eye stock. Mm. Uh, is this safe? Yes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know why you asked. I I don't trust your answer anyway. But... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just upgraded it. It didn't used to be green. I think it's nice. It's magical tinkering. You can change the color of the light bulb. I didn't use any harmful materials. I just used the material that was already there and just improved upon it. So, the color is. There's just... lead in there, isn't there? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least not by any modern standards. So a lot of lead was pulled out of material or by out of machines after a certain period of time. The machine seems to Actually, be made of a dense plastic. Let's <laughs> can throw it on the ground, see what happens. He pauses. No, when was that made? <laughs> I don't know. I just got it from the vending machine of many things. Oh, then it should be a modern piece. Hmm. I'd be not, surprised if it had lead. Not to worry. Every cake you bake has a density of 2% plastic. Good, I think. What did not you just good. say? <laughs> plastic. Vizika. These yeah. are not even microplastics at this point. We're talking macroplastics, Vizika. Microplastics! <laughs> ah, yes. It's still 98% cake. Ah, yes. Plenty of macroplastics within that cake. <laughs> the God. microplastics aren't even important to uh, report on. I imagine there are probably other carcinogenics within that thing, given well, the uh, chemicals you need to actually make that little tiny cake. That's okay. You should be fine. I've scanned all of you when you entered the room. All of you have some percentage of plastics within your system. Huh? Uh. Not entirely certain what has happened outside of the Academy over these past X amount of years, but uh, you've definitely been consuming something. That has changed your biological hey, what's makeup. What's content? I'm sorry. Get so much nothing. Oh, you don't have to. It's probably within your foods, within your waters. Uh, all right. It sounds like your worlds have been mainly taken over by capitalist corporations who don't really care for your well-being. That's okay, though. It allows you to consume cakes like this, even with the minute amount of plastics. Minute. Mm -hmm. Small. Are you feeling better? Not to confuse with minute. No. Do you want another cake? <laughs> Maybe. Can I make it for you in the next room? I'm getting kind of bored of this place because it doesn't have good food. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, the monotrome a of cake later. frowns when you say you're getting bored of this room. <laughs> oh, are we continuing on? As the are you surprised? Forward. There's nothing to do here. There's nothing to eat. There's no tang. There's no salmon. There's nothing. Huh? Yeah. Oh, huh. me? Yeah. Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't have feelings. This is just something I'm supposed to respond to if someone's getting bored of the tour. Oh, I'm not bored of the tour. I'm just bored you. of the lack of food in here. Oh, yeah, I do apologize. We weren't expecting humanoids here. And I'm yeah. afraid the food storage has gone bad long, a long time ago. Okay. Anyway, does the prospect of cake make you feel better? Cake soon? I would think that... If he had built a place like this, there would be some manner of magic or preservation put on the foods. Hmm. 
maybe he didn't feel it ne necessary for you to eat anything. That Which seems damn. much more likely. <laughs> it's honestly, it's very likely. <laughs> Maybe you weren't meant to eat of Miel. Maybe he just wanted to show yeah, you the cafeteria. Very... Maybe he yeah, left some plastics like around for us do. to eat. Oh no. Show but uh show but don't actually tell. What is our next destination spot? No, I looked for secret places. There ain't nothing. Oh, well, uh, this way. I shall take you to the dorms. The dorms? Yes. He wants you to see the dorms. It's okay, we'll go back to that uh, frog pastry stall later and we'll get all the flavors from that guy. Ah, good. good. Uh, as you're approaching, you see him fly up to a platform over here. Oh, good, it's happening again. Wait, wh what's happening again? The game. What? Look at the ground. No. No! But why? Fuck you, plug you! I fucking know it! All right. I am to inform you that now that you are aware of this floor, we will not have the initial uh, phase of the first few seconds where you would move around to prepare yourself. Instead, we're diving straight into the game. So get ready, prepare yourself. Now that you see what's happening here, it's time to up the ante. Okay, so as he says that, and, the, and you'll watch the Muntrum has now fluttered up to this platform. Uh, ba, 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 da, da, da. Let's see, you're going to see uh, this. And this sort of like it just kind of like like clay, right? It sort of, sort of builds itself up from from the tile sets itself. Uh, but you'll also take note that there apparently is uh, a few more pieces that have made themselves known as you watch as a giant, uh, what I could describe, uh, appears to be an ape with this hair on it, sort of manifests itself as a piece over there. Uh, and you'll see another piece sort of form itself with the familiar, uh, rook topping of that. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. and, uh, yeah, let's do, you yeah, we'll do, we'll do this this time. <laughs> All right. Uh, you'll watch as the monotrone looks over at you. Well. I wish you the best of luck. And now I'll be rolling your initiative. As stated before, uh, you all will be the first to go. So, uh, oh, I didn't roll for someone. Bazika. Hey, there it is. Uh, wait, do me and Cheats have to re-roll? Uh, no, uh, it already oh, right. has calculated your, your tie break. Oh, okay. So. Uh, with that, Vizika, it is now oh. your turn. Can we all be queens this time? That's not how that would work. They already what? have different pieces now. You're a queen to me, Vizika. <laughs> you too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how that compliment works. <laughs> she says it with the most earnest grin on her face. Okay, well, I guess I'll just, um, yeah. Okay, are you ready? She looks at this statue. <laughs> are you saying that to the pawn? Yes. The pawn does not respond. She jabs. Oh. Oh. Let's go ahead and roll a crit roll for that flaming. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, that'll be 14, uh, 17 points of damage. <laughs> As a big chunk of clay just, just falls off of the pod. Uh, that hits 12 points of damage. <laughs> and if 
I do flurry of blows, can I? Does it have to be directed at one person? No, since there are multiple attacks. Ooh, I'm gonna do flurry of blows, and I'm gonna hit both of the people in my range. Uh, that hits. Uh, one of them melts to the ground. The other one hits for ten points of damage. Yeah. And then she's gonna roll back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What does that piece do? She looks at Marius. Which one? Points straight forward. <laughs> That's the rook. It's gonna come right for you. It can move in a line. Ah! Okay. That's it. Uh, uh, not started. For some reason, the combat tracker is not up here. Oh, that's because I haven't started the combat. Oh, no, I, no, I started the combat. Now you're good. Understood. Thank you. All right. At the end of your round, you'll watch as this piece shifts over here. Cheats, it's your turn. Okay, uh, what do I do again? Same thing you did before. Move here, attack. But then I could be attacked by, like, both of these guys. Correct. You could also bait them out if you want. Move here, wait till they move forward, too. Oh, God. Actually, wait! Huh. I got range! She just attacked. <laughs> 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 uh, let's see, okay. She will attack in this one. What? <laughs> That'll hit 10 points of damage. You have two I'm charges. Can roll my uh, damage, please? Fe you feel free to do so. <laughs> it's the same. All right. Uh, you have two charges. Would you like to expend them? Yes, sir. All right. Two points of damage dealt. Sneak attack. Yes. Oh, uh, you just watch as like chunks mm. of clay start flying in the air. <laughs> um, kill him. Do it. Do it. Do it. Is my uh, stim accelerant new? Like, is it updated? Yes, it has. If you go over to your active abilities in features, you will see stim suppressant which will allow you to go into the haste without taking radiation damage and without taking uh, the uh, be, 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 the thing that happens afterwards. You know what I'm lethargy. talking about. Yes, please. Lethargy. Correct. I'm trying to find... Oh, there it is. I'm going to use one. Woohoo. Uh, you gain the effects of haste. Yay! Yeah, you uh, are now currently experiencing the cleanest high you've ever felt. Yeah, she like pulls it out and puts it into her uh, her mask, and there's just this like moment where she stops moving, <laughs> and she just goes, "Holy shit!" <laughs> I fucking love drugs. <laughs> oh my god! Woo! Don't let Hellbo oh, get his hands on this! And she waves it in the, the air at him. It's not that it gives you a better high; it's that it gives you the same effects <laughs> without getting you high. Correct. Without all oh, that, never nastiness. mind. I hate this. <laughs> oh, my apologies. It's not the cleanest time you've had. Feels like you just went for a, a, a leisurely jog. What? All right, uh, and melts into the ground. Yay! <laughs> Where's the high with this thing? The I got rid of it. Why? <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's really good, and I like it. Whatever. <laughs> uh, at the end of Cheats' round, you'll watch <laughs> as the Rook seems to be channeling something from above their head. Uh, and uh, as a spell is fired directly towards Gareth. Oh, sp God. Gareth. It's called Glacial Decay. It's a critical <laughs> miss. <laughs> Vanya! Oh. 
so mean to a chess piece. He's gonna kill you wow. if you keep laughing at him. If you keep laughing at him, he will just be like, oh, it also has power word kill. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I earned my kills. Vanya. Mm. No. <laughs> I get wrecked, Bojo. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> The DM will remember this. Uh oh. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Uh, we start off with uh, some dread ambusher over here. Um, pog. Yes, yes. Pog, pog. And. And. We're yeah. shooting. We're shooting. We are blasting. We are blasting at the pawn that is straight in front of me. Very good. Yes. All right, uh, that'll be nine points of damage. And that's the second one. Uh, that'll hit for 14 points of damage uh, as you watch as the pawn just immediately melts in. Uh, as you're doing that, every time you you notice this now, every time you're downing a piece, uh, you kind of watch the Mondrone goes, oh, and then like writes a little note to himself. As Vanya the dispatches of this pawn, she just, well, just slightly elbow Mar Marius next to her, be like, "Hey, I really like this game." <laughs> Good. Shoot that one next. <laughs> Are you sure you're not the king? Wait, who, who said I'm not the king anymore? Wait, you, you are still the king. Well, I don't know. Am I? Is that what you... I thought we were all queens. <laughs> well, I'm the queens. Okay, but we're like the secondary queens. Huh. Okay, but like, can I actually like shoot anywhere? Aldorus has already proven that he doesn't really care for actually abiding oh, by the rules. So just <laughs> What do you mean? They've whatever. done exactly what you said they'd do. Yeah, but also, it doesn't matter what we do, apparently. Mm. I think it still matters, it's just... He'll, like, take points off or something. What? Because they, like, they do what you say they're gonna do. What if he's just testing to us to see if we'll follow the rules? What rules? Of the they never gave us the rules! <laughs> they never gave us any rules! Yeah, but Mario seems to know him. Well, yeah, and Vizika seems to be a grandmaster. But oh, is she? Shit. Well, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, well. There's I'm a gonna moment keep going queen he... shit. There's a moment where Mario sort of pauses and considers. If that's the case, end your turn. Oh, are you sure? The pieces are only attacking once. I assume if Aldorus wanted, he could brute force us with all of these creatures. They're attacking just as they should. Pawns don't attack in front of them, they only attack diagonally. The rook attacked in a direct line. I assume this is a bishop. It'll attack diagonally. So, you're the queen, or you're king, in fact. You took out a pawn, which is what you can do. End your turn. Okay. At the end of your round, you'll watch as this piece sort of leaps up and then <laughs> jumps over I there. Lied. <laughs> it's a knight. Oh god, it's a Gareth! Gareth! I'm a queen. Uh, I'm going <laughs> here. I'm a queen! Yeah, you what? are. <laughs> that, but you can't move like that! I did, I just did. I'm attacking this thing. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, that will hit. <laughs> <clears throat> Dealing eight points of damage. Not good enough. I go again. Uh, one second. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, that will hit as well. 15 points of damage. That's not very nightly mm, of you. Let me use, uh, I'd like to use a, uh, uh, uh what do they call it? Move. Maneuver. <laughs> Man maneuver. Maneuver. How, are, how, uh, how wide are these things? Like, are they kind of, are they tall? Like, 
Yeah, they're they're uh, they're about they're about your size. The ponds are probably like four, four and a half feet, but these are about okay. uh, these pieces are standing about six feet tall. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try and trip it. Okay. Which uh, let's see here. I can add one die for damage. So, uh, ooh, uh, yeah. did it use it? No. I'm making a strength yeah. ch uh, check. Is that correct? Oh my god! Imagine correct. It breaks. Or Hold strength on, saving didn't... throw. I fail. The piece <laughs> falls down. Does right. it break? Also, did, also, did it crack? That's, that's the extra damage. Two thing. points of damage. Uh, no, this this piece, as you're hitting it, seems to be a lot more solid than the clay ponds that you're fight, facing off against. Yeah. This one's taking more damage this time. I'll focus this one. <clears throat> At the end of your round, you'll watch as this thing... Uh, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Uh, you'll watch as this thing... Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Let me go and fix that. There we go. Uh, you'll watch as this thing hovers up into the air, places itself back down, uh, and then casts a spell over at Marius. Specifically what? that of Glacial Decay. I'm still going to abide by its rules. 13. <clears throat> uh, which, which will not hit. Vizika. Marius, what? what if we don't have to... Ab Wait. Wasn't it Marius' turn? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Marius. <laughs> Guilty Spock, are we able to change our pieces if we haven't designated ourselves in this game? Uh, you don't have any pieces to designate. That's a rule you made up. I thought you were just having some fun. <clears throat> and I shall be all rook. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thanks, <laughs> Rux. All right. <laughs> 12 points of damage. Another 12 points of damage. Uh, one point of damage. And now, and so you're just, you're doing this flurry of hammer blows. Uh, seeing that it's still, I wonder if I can angle this. Yeah, nice. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get that, you're trying to get that cone. If it's able to, dope. If it just hits the palm. Let's also find fine. out. <laughs> Let's find out. Uh, this, it to aim at that spot, you have to angle at this, unfortunately. These are your only two options. Which ones again? Uh, your two options are this or this. So unfortunately, we'll the first one. okay, yeah, unfortunately, you can't. Uh, so sorry. All right, so you're going for the the first one. You're going for the pawn. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if I make that save. Nope. Uh, you'll <laughs> seven points of damage. You'll watch as the pawn slowly begins melting away, but still standing. This sort of De this deformed glob of a piece. All right. Uh, and because I moved in a straight line and did my attack against the pawn, right, that's my turn. All right. At the end of your round, you'll watch as this thing <laughs> hops over. So it's not the horse? It is. That's why it's moving in an L. I miscounted the squares one. before. Okay. So it, it moved. Yeah. She flexes and spins her staff around and tags at this one. Oh, oh that's going to be... Uh, which one are you attacking? This one. Okay, that'll be seven points of damage. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm yeah. attacking again. Begins <laughs> melting from the heat. Uh, that'll hit again. Ten points of damage. Chunks of clay flying. Okay, and then we're gonna do another flurry of blows, and we're gonna do one hit at this boy first hit, and second hit at this boy. E oh. That'll e hit ten er. points of damage. E er. That'll hit ten points of damage. The piece melts into the ground. Oh. 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 All right. 
at the end of your round, you'll watch as this one seems to be doing like sort of like a little like little shimmy, like a little, little little shimmy back and forth. Um, as you see this giant boulder sort of begin to form above and then is thrown directly at Cheats. 27 to hit, 18 points of force damage. Jesus. Yeah, you see the like, this, this <laughs> of all of her like prosthetics, and then they. <laughs> ah! Mop! Mop! I can't hear! Jeez, it's your turn. Uh, ow! <laughs> she just attacked. <laughs> Which one She's are you attacking? Just yelling. Ow! <laughs> Ow! This one. <laughs> All right. Let's see it. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, that'll hit 11 points of damage. Oh my God! That sneak attack. Yeah, th you're you're actually as you're you're feeling the impact of these pieces. These pieces seem to be ma this piece specifically seems to be made of some sort of some sort of uh, hardened granite. So chunks of stone are kind of like being chipped away with each strike. Attack again. Uh, that hits nine points of damage. Oh, oh God! I have to read my feature again. Is it my first attack? All right, which feature are you talking about? Oh, okay, it's one per turn. I'm going to reroll that damage. Oh, understood. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Yay! Yeah. It, was it 12? Wait, wait, oh, did you roll both dice? I see. 13. Yeah, I have to reroll both. I just have to click them individually. Understood. Oh, I uh, seem to have took damage twice. But yes, 13 points of damage. Pa. And then with my bonus action, we're going to cheat code. We're going to cheat code. Ooh, six points of damage. I can hear again. <laughs> she like holds up a thumbs up behind her. The speed uh, leaves your body, but you don't feel that lethargic energy that you felt before. Meanwhile, you'll watch uh, as you look over over there. Uh, Marius, another glacial yep. decay is cast over to you. <laughs> 16 to hit. That one oh, still misses. Mm. Oh, God. Banya. <laughs> okay. Since those two cannot get to anyone right now, uh, I might just go for their rook and see if, if you know, I can take him out at any point tonight. All right. Okay. I'm hitting their rook. Okay. Uh, that'll hit 13 Bobby. points of damage. And does it also do the extra that 11? The uh, vibration mm, penetration? Or no? uh, the, uh, let me read your cannon real quick. Um, as a bonus action, your next tech made with this weapon deals initial 2d8. So you have to dedicate a bonus action to mm. deal that extra damage. I see. I see. Uh, well, and you have to do, and you have to do that before your attack. Okay, 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 okay. All right, my extra attack. All right, that hits nine points of damage. Okay, and I'm staying where I am. Okay, Gareth. Oh, sorry. Uh, at the end of your round, uh, <laughs> Gareth. It's quite a sturdy one. Take another swing. Uh, that'll hit 13 points of damage. Once more. Uh, that'll hit 11 points of damage as it as it shatters into pebbles yeah. and, and sinks into the floor. About time. Good job, queen. <clears throat> you too. Thank you. I'm the queen. Uh, at the end of your round, uh, same thing. You watch mm -hmm. as the boulder manifests and then is thrown over to Vizika. 20 to hit. Uh, it hits. 19. Wait, can I? Wait, 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 wait. Can I? Can I? Can I? What's it? Um, the thing? Deflect missiles? Yeah. Uh, oh. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Deflect the boulder, Nick. Mm, let me see real quick. I have to read deflect missiles again. 
because I do my own different thing. Uh, you can use a reaction deflect to catch the missile of the ranged attack. When you do so, the damage you take from the attack is reduced by 1d10 plus 4 plus 9. If you reduce the damage to 0 and you got a free hand, you can go and throw it. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and roll this for you, this dice specifically. 22, hey. you manage to do so, which means uh, you reduce the damage to 0. You have a free hand. Would Ooh. you like to spend a key point to throw it back? Yes. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, so go ahead and spend your key point uh, I did. and make a range attack uh, as a monk weapon with a range of 20 to 60. OK, so you throw it back, uh, dealing five points of damage, which shatters uh, the monkey yeah. and sinks <laughs> back down to the ground. <laughs> that was really scary. Was amazing. <laughs> Very good. Very well done, Marius. OK. Uh, we're going to move down here. And still playing up the piece of the or the idea of the rook. We're just going to shoot this guy with. Mm, very interesting. Very good. And we're going to shoot this guy with a magic missile. Let's see it. Actually, I'm not. Oh. Mm. Um, oh my. In fact, that's my turn. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, at the end of your round, uh, the piece uh, just sort of like stares over at Sheets. Next up is Fazika. <laughs> Clay <laughs> slobbers all over the ground and melts in. You're literally pounding the ground now, ending the encounter. Well done. Very well done. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Huh? Very, mm. oh, very interesting. Oh, very nice. good. What is, what is? Hmm? What is interesting? Oh, I'm just taking note. What notes are you taking? I'm afraid I can't share that with you. Oh. What's the matter, Vizika? Um, I was thinking that... Those things are actually kind of scary. Maybe instead of trying to move like them, we could maybe try to like avoid their moves. You know, because you seem to know a lot about how this actually works. And if we maybe you could like direct us how we can stay out of where they're gonna be. Hmm. It's possible. If we go into another encounter and there are even more pieces, you can sort of predict where they're going to go or how they react. For example, the ape. Uh, the ape was a knight, so it attacked in an L, and it always tried to position itself where it could attack you. The rook could attack regardless of what was ahead of it, as long as it's in a line. A pawn can't attack you if you're on top of it, it can only attack you diagonally. But then you run into a situation, like where cheats is our queen, where it can attack you omnidirectionally, diagonally, or uh, horizontally. We'll have to see what the next board looks like. These are all misshapen. They're all strange. Hmm. And you'll watch as the uh, monodrone sort of flutters down. All right. So, um, as far as my energy level goes, I'm still post-sickness, so... This is where we will have to wrap up today because I am I all of my energy reserves have been spent, unfortunately, while I'm still recovering. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm sorry about money, that. Boy. So uh, <laughs> we will stop for today. But did you guys enjoy today's session? Absolutely. Despite Marius being like, I fucking hate outdoors. Yeah. Actually fun. <laughs> okay. I, was, I was spending every like every encounter being like, all right, that motherfucker is going to move here. <laughs> here. I knew exactly where the knight was gonna move, and I was right every single time. Good. It was great. I love how obstinate Marius is being. Like we are still going to move like chess pieces, <laughs> even though we don't have to. I love it. I absolutely love it. <coughs> so, um, we will not be ending the session uh, empty. Uh, we will not be leaving the session empty-handed, as we do have. A uh, fan art, and we do have Bingo Bongo. Ayo, ayo. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. It's time, baby! It's time! 
Woo! All right. Uh, burp, 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 burp. Where did go? Hmm, excuse me. Uh, let me. Well, let's start with the fan art first. Excuse me, I had to give a giant ass hack. Uh, okay. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, we'll start with some lovely little drawings. Absol oh. <laughs> absolutely adore this. <laughs> Fun cobbler, thank you. I love that. Stretchy. <laughs> love and sacrifice. Whoa, oh, nice. Uh -huh. damn. Oh, damn. That's damn. You know, the sacrifice ring is cool. That works. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, my God. She's Boulette. so buff. She is buff. Buff. I mean, Whoa. hello. Oh. Shoulders. Oh, shit. It's oh, got more dodge than me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that motherfucking Reggie Steel? Reggie <laughs> Steel! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Very oh, good. My next upgrade. That's right. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. 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 no! no! No, no! So bad. I don't like the gas. This is called a Dracula <laughs> parrot. I oh, love it. Holy shit! <laughs> what Dude, the I love fuck, the bro? Bro, awesome. this is one of the best. Very one good. Of the best I've seen. Like, holy shit! I love that. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Hey, yes, hey, what's sir. going on there? Go back, Go back! Go back! <laughs> Go back, uh, I need to screenshot yeah. this for science, oh, thank you. God. Okay, all right. All right, you get five okay, seconds. All right. Five, four, okay. three, all right, all right, all right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta bring people to Discord so they can look at it and adore it. Holy oh, shit, Oh my man. god. Uh, Where do baby shit? I don't. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why am I, I in there? <laughs> what the fuck is so bad? It's embarrassing. <laughs> I want to fuck him so bad it's embarrassing. <laughs> no. Uh, Somebody's the, so taking bad. that audio. The inevitable dash <laughs> meeting. Oh, oh, they would be friends. You fishing buddy. You gotta be oh. fishing buddy. What campaign is the other character from? Uh, Dash is played by uh, Dex bonus by Dodger in Dead Beats. Nice. Oh my god. Nice. Dead Beats is also the Dodger campaign. The yeah, uh, uh, Dead Beats is also the campaign that Piper Hellebore is in that has been referenced oh. a few times now. Mm -hmm. So Stinky. the the, <laughs> the meeting it will be inevitable. <laughs> I hate mm -hmm. necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 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 Oh no. She, she doesn't know. <laughs> she doesn't know. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Amazing. Oh, Fantastic. Oh, wow. Feels the shadow. The shadow. Yeah. 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 That's so good. That's real good. Oh. That's real good. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Casual the daddy, most, hello. The most relaxed he's <laughs> ever been. Holy shit. Oh. <clears throat> Holy shit. Potentially an older Eldorus. I see. Oh, fuck that guy. I see. <laughs> fuck that Let guy. her chest, bitch. Ooh, <laughs> now I'm loving Yo, yeah, the oh, wizard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Did he steal? Oh, my God. Garrett. I'm yes, definitely so. loving that, yeah. Oh my Dude, he god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm loving that. Can we just <laughs> like class swap? Listen, my dump truck That's though a is big going. Spear. Oh my god. My, <laughs> my dump is going crazy. Ooh. Aww. Oh my god. Sniff all. Sniff it. The two of them. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> That's exactly what Naomi's character, like last character, would do. She yeah. would be like, "Are you a gnome?" That's <laughs> not. <laughs> You're not a gnome. There, there we oh are from. God. There we are from Vizika's uh, perspective. Wait. Holy shit! Where are you? I've never seen anything like you before. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Perfect. Holy shit. That is prime plink material right there. Uh, someone is actually building Gareth's switch weapon. A yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. what? Holy shit. Building, oh Gareth, building Gareth's wow. maneuver arm. Let's oh my go. God. Let's go. 
Wow. Uh, we love we love okay. people crafting stuff from our games. <laughs> oh oh yeah. my Holy god, that's, that's great. So Sick. Cool. What the? Thank you so that's much for that. Awesome. Oh, what the oh, fuck? What the what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Morris, I'm shooting. Open your legs. Open your legs. Honest. Your leg? Honest. <laughs> hey. uh, Morris, just, while I appreciate this is a rather uh, fictitious uh, piece, I have uh, eaten Dex. Uh, and I'm nearly that dexterous. Uh, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's in your that's wow. in your fast armor, the one that wow. buffed you. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that cow. oh my god. She's so beautiful. Oh, okay. You're so shit. good. <laughs> Today's session, the smart kid not understanding how he's losing, me eating the pieces while he's not looking. <laughs> <laughs> That's <just> so good. <laughs> oh, very oh, good. Oh, I just I took her rook. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hey. check. Let's uh, check out the bingo. Oh my <laughs> god! Excuse me, sorry. Checked out and checkmate. Uh, Cheats um. gets a whole combat without taking drugs. Never. No. Baby <laughs> lore. No. The party hey, risks another. Yeah, huh? She went one. Oh, wait, yeah. the first one. The first combat. I didn't take any drugs. It was a yeah. whole combat. Okay, yeah. you know what? You are, you, are you are correct. Yeah. You are right. Yeah. You are correct. Yeah. You are yeah. absolutely correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, no baby lore. Uh, the party risks another shorter long rest. Almost. Marius <laughs> finds a clue in, clue in his poem. No. The tour guide goes on the fritz. No. Gareth and Marius bromance moment. No. I mean, no. Actually, That's no. That's just always... It's all no, it's no, spoken. No, no. I, I mean, I made him food. I don't want. No, no, there wasn't. <laughs> you made everyone special. food, no. you slut. That's not how that worked. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh my yeah, if that's yeah. All right, that's oh a bromance moment. You know. Uh, so somebody <laughs> gets polymorph. No, the return of the mm. queen. Eleonora Mordove reference. Uh, no. Uh, I was a hmm. queen. Uh, yeah, I understand what this this uh, means, we and that uh, is incorrect. Nat twenty, <laughs> we did see that twenty. Mm -hmm. Somebody in the party doesn't know the rules of chess. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Good Marius rolls. Brett, you smile. I I, I think you you had great rolls. Uh, no crit yeah. misses. So yeah. Gareth's new spell comes in ha handy. New. No. Uh, the party orders food in the cafeteria. Well, you attempted to, but you did not get any food. <laughs> Disgusted noise. <laughs> Wizards. <Yeah. laughs> the Sphinx statue does something. Nopers. Nat one. Yes. An expired potion is used. Mm. No. Chess mm. rules are used as part of, a, of the boss fight. No boss fight. Mm. So no. Oh. Check or checkmate. No. References uh, to the previous students of the Exodus Academy. Uh, technically, I would say yes. Madam Hush boss fight. No. Somebody takes over 50 points of damage. No. Jesus. Uh, no custom music theme and no nerd calling. Oh, you guys were close this time. Holy shit. We should have caused more trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you guys for your patience. I do apologize for ending the session early, but it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still my voice and throat is still recovering. So still rest up. thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Brother, you were super kind to me when I was sick. There's no way I'm going to be like, all right, I crack the whip another Ass. three hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully next session, my throat will be fully recovered so we can do a longer session. But for now, yes. uh, that is it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you all next week. Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're running, brother. You know. Have a Thank wonderful you. day. You buy that goddamn Bye. edition book now. Yeah. And get a bidet. Uh, yeah, get a bidet. Buy the fishing <laughs> book when it comes out Spray Wednesday. Your cheeks. Bye. 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 Bye.